Mornings, Friday, April 28th. And I want to tell you something. I just got through reading an article about Tucker Carlson and the kind of person he was in the studios of Fox News. Now, Fox News put up with him because three million people chose to watch him every night. And I think that's a failure on their part. If he was the bastard that they claim him to be, who routinely downgraded women and used derogatory terms in describing them, how could he have kept his job so long? He only kept his job because of money. So despite being an unsavory character... Those three million people who watched him every day allowed him to keep his job. And I have to wonder about segments of the population of this country that were willing to listen to the ranting of somebody like Tucker Carlson. So Fox News finally did the right thing. They fired him. And they had cause to fire him for many, many years. But they let this stuff slide. Which tells you something about the organization of Fox News. That they deserve to be sued. They deserved to be put on line, under fire for what they did to this country. And what they will continue to do to this country. They are not going to change their modus operandi just because they lost this suit. And they may lose another suit or another two suits. But as long as they have a following, as long as they have people in this country who are willing to watch them, and as long as they have management that is willing to allow the denigration of women and people of other persuasion. And as long as we have Americans who are willing to listen to that, Fox News will survive. They're not going to change their ways. They have created a niche, a terrible niche, in their place on the television screen. So I have to look at Fox News as an example of why this country is in the turmoil that it is. We are a victim of our own free speech rules. When people can say whatever they feel like saying without one scintilla of truth associated with it. So if it's okay to lie and tell stories and create an image that is counter to what civilized nations use, these groups will survive. Everybody who thinks about it, thinks, that's the key word, everybody who thinks about it must realize how far off base Fox was in their representation of so-called news. And let's not kid ourselves. News programs these days are not really news. They have become entertainment venues. Characters who are presenting stories to you. That's what television news has evolved to. There are very few stations out there that tell you straight news, the facts. We have groups, three women on a screen, a man and two women, two men and one woman. We have all of those trios and duets telling us news. But they're really not telling you the news. A lot of it is sprinkled with opinion. It's not straight news. It's not the facts. It's the invention, the presentation that entertains. And Fox News was the leader in that, is the leader in that type of broadcast. They were the most successful network on the air. And that tells you something that you can have loyal following of people who aren't really, really, truly cut from the cloth 
that emphasized the brilliance of what Americans used to be. How we used to stand up for what was right. And yes, there was always people who dissented, and we went through terrible situations in our country, McCarthyism and series like that. But we survived, and we came out better for it. But now we are in a cycle that is awful. We are now in a done... Then we are now in a downward cycle where we, the American people, can't get together and get anything right anymore. We're split, a nation that's rented asunder. And that just goes to show you why personalities like Tucker Carlson can rule the airwaves. And he's not alone. There are several other personalities on the air that I could cite that are equally bad for the image of America. But we allow it. And they have followings. And once you have a following, and once you are producing money for the networks, you can do no wrong. So while I'm sitting here and I am chastising Fox, I could chastise of several other stations of similar mold even though they have not been so successful. And I could chastise individuals who have lied to us. And I'm not going to get into that because I don't want to. I don't want to point out to people who is bad and who is good because people should recognize that themselves. People should think about what they're listening to. Think about who is presenting information to you. Think about why this particular person was able to have a voice that reached millions of people. Think about the shape of this country and who really caused the downfall and who continued to spout the message of cheating. Who cannot go quietly into the sunset, into the sunset. That's what we're faced with. We allow too many people to say too many things because of our freedom. Well, our freedoms will disappear if we continue to allow this shit to go on. So I leave you a gr- disgruntled person this morning because I recognize the fact that a guy like Tucker Carlson was able to stay on the airwaves and is probably being recruited for some other network right now. Even though he has come out and spoken out against all the things he did for Fox saying they allowed him to do that. So have a great day. Bye.